Okay, so recently Realme announced that all phones above 15,000 will be a 5G phone. And you also know the recently launched Samsung A22 with 11 bands of 5G. And courtesy to my smart price, roughly one out of five phones launched is a 5G phone. And we have 55 5G phones launched till now and we are just six months in 2021. Six more to go. So what exactly are brands doing? Or the question that has to be asked is, should you buy a cheap 5G phone? Or more importantly, when exactly you will get usable 5G in India? So this is Riddhi, you're already watching TechWiser. And man, I have a lot to say. Let's go. Now, before we jump to the whole 5G launch timeline, let's try to understand the budget 5G phones that are launching now. First up, let's get straight to the Samsung A22. It has 11 bands of 5G, agreed. Good future-proof 5G phone. But here's where the problem starts, when you look at the other specs. The display is a TFT display. Now, I'm not commenting on the quality of the display, but TFT displays generally have bad viewing angles and bad color reproduction. If you watch Netflix, video call, etc. Storage is eMMC 5.1. In OS, you get one UI core, which doesn't get flagship features like Knox, Samsung Pay, and screen recorder. Again, for front camera, you get a 8 megapixel selfie camera. For charging, you get a 15 watt charger, which is okay. Samsung mostly ships with 15 watt charger in all their phones. And now let me quickly bring in the Oppo A53s. You see, the 720 display, storage and OS are fine. But then again, 8 megapixel selfie camera. And here, 10 watt charging for a 5000 mAh battery. Now, if you compare it with the best selling 4G phone like Redmi Note 10 Pro, around the same price, you get 120 years AMOLED display, Storage and OS is same for all Redmi phones, 16 megapixel selfie camera and 33 watt fast charging. Now it wouldn't take a genius to figure out that the Redmi Note 10 Pro is a better phone than Samsung A22 and Oppo A53s. And the problem is not only with Samsung or Oppo, even Redmi does this. If you see a Redmi Note 10 T 5G, here's the specs. The specs are decent, they are not as bad as Oppo A53s or Samsung A22. The problem is, Xiaomi India had a clear stance of saying 5G in budget doesn't make sense and launched Redmi Note 10 Pro 4G series. But after the popularity of 5G phones, uh, Redmi brought an exact rebrand of Poco M3 Pro 5G. Specs by specs, everything is the same. Not just the specs are same, but weight and dimensions are same too. What's the point of having the same phone with two different names? And not just that. Xiaomi is rumored to discontinue the Mi 11 Lite 4G variant to launch Mi 11 Lite 5G or Mi 11 Lite T, whatever they are calling it. The Mi 11 Lite 4G was launched in June and it's August now. The Mi 11 Lite 4G sold almost 90,000 units within a week. Just for the number. So what about the people who bought the Mi 11 Lite 4G? Should we stop buying 4G phones from Xiaomi now? You tell me in the comments what do you think. Or more importantly, let's assume 5G phones are promised to last 2-3 to three years in the future. So except Samsung, why there's no announcement of 3 year software updates? That would make the phone more future proof, right? Well, here's the main manufacturing issue. 5G is a new thing right now, not announced and hence it's costly. So again, if you have 10 rupees to make a phone, just for the sake of example, you put 2 rupees in processor, 2 rupees in display, 2 rupees in battery and charging, 2 rupees in camera, and two rupees as your profit. This is an example of a good 4G phone. Now let's pick up a 5G phone. You have to pay five rupees for processor and 5G bands. Now the budget for everything else is dropped. So you pay one rupees for display, one for battery and charging, and two again your profit. And thus you get a budget 5G phone. Now leave all that aside. Let's get to the million rupee question. How soon are we getting 5G in India? Well, historically, if you look, the entire world got 2G in 1991. India got it in 1995. 4 years gap. The entire world got 3G in 1998, India got in 2008, a whooping 10 years gap. The entire world got 4G in 2008, India got in 2015, again 7 years gap. So with 5G, the entire world got it in 2019, India, no idea. But as per rumors, 5G is going to go live on 15th August 2022, so let's assume it to be 2022. A solid one year from now, which is again 3 years gap from global launch. So that's it. We are getting 5G in one year from now on. So what's the big deal? A budget 5G phone makes more sense to me. Wrong. Let's look at the growth of 5G in countries which got 5G in 2019. 
Listen carefully. As per Open Signal Survey in May 2020, almost one year after the release of 5G, except Japan and Canada, the top seven countries saw barely 10% increase in download speeds on 5G. So on an average, let's say if your download speed on 4G was 10 Mbps, 5G gives you just 11 Mbps in most of the countries. And this 10% increase was with countries like the USA as well. And if you move ahead to right now, 2021, 5G speeds in USA have doubled and are around 70-ish Mbps, almost twice of what you get in 4G. That's great. But it took them two years after the launch of 5G to just double the internet speed. So if 5G arrives in India on 22nd August 2022, you can expect double the internet speed around 22nd August 2024 as per what the world data is. So currently 8 Mbps is the average download speed in India. So you can expect 16 Mbps average download speed in 2024 on 5G. And this is just an assumption. You should take it with a grain of salt and we are not even considering COVID, lockdown and the condition of the economy. So what's the bigger picture here? Should you buy a cheap 5G phone in India? No, I'm not telling you to not buy a 5G phone. I'm not saying that. There's nothing wrong with buying a 5G phone. In the premium devices or mid-range devices like the Realme X7 Max, Nord 2, iQ7, they offer good performance plus 5G as an add-on feature. However, buying a budget 5G phone that's filled with compromises like Samsung A22, Oppo A53s, etc. That's not wise. If you live in tier 2, tier 3 cities, 5G is easily 2-3 to three years away. So buying a compromised 5G phone right now that doesn't even have good display, storage and charging so that you can use 5G 2-3 to three years later is straight away not a good decision. Just a wise advice, don't plan for more than 2 years in tech, it's not worth it. On that note, this is Pradeep from TechWiser.com. See ya pretty soon.